Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, back playing more Factorio. Um, we left off last time having, uh, well, set up some accumulators and solar panels. Uh, but notice we were running low on batteries. You see, there are absolutely no batteries here. Uh, we do have a little bit of a backup of batteries here, but that's only because those are being used... Uh, let me just close that for now. Uh, for the production of the blue science, it's the ones that are being used for production of other items that are, are basically run out. Now, I said we were running low on uh, sulfuric acid, and we are. But we're not out. Um, what actually appears to be the issue is we don't have any uh, plates, iron plates here. Uh, that's because the way this is set up, it's only going to take iron plates from this side. So let's go up and see why our iron plates aren't as even as they could be. And, uh... I'm guessing that's because the iron plates that wind up on that side are being mostly taken here for steel production. So, uh, how many furnaces? I can build two furnaces right now. Uh, if I hold F here and pick up some more... Ooh, what is... We are getting damaged, and... Yeah, that is right over here, because... We still have a power problem, and I'm hoping... Oh, we are finally charging here, that is great. Uh, this will help shoot for a while. Uh, how are we... Yeah, we're right now producing as much as electricity... Well, almost as much as we're consuming. And that is allowing these to charge up, which means when we fire, we will be able to take energy from these uh, and be able to fire faster instead of immediately... Uh, basically running out of power and slowing down. Alright, I'm going to build five more, and um, I'm going to need some more arms here. So we'll take uh, half a stack there, and you know, we'll grab some long-handed ones while we're here as well. And I'm going to put five more... <laughs> Uh, furnaces down here. Hopefully they will fit. There they are. One, two, three. We're gonna put four more furnaces down, apparently. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And let's get some conveyor belts in place first. That looks good. And we just need a power pole. And there we go. That should... Let's just put one over here. So I took out the one earlier. I just want to make sure everything is still all nicely connected. Alright, it doesn't look like we're stopping anything here. There's still some room to put down, but that should increase uh, the amount of plates on the other side of the belt. And that should now let our battery production increase. Um, the problem is, we are going to run out of sulfuric acid. You can see we already are, and that's because we're out of petroleum gas. So let us get that taken care of. I'm going to build two chemical plants. And uh, while I'm here, I should now uh, pick up some pipe. Because uh, we're probably going to need it. Probably should have picked up pipe before making the chemical plants, but... That's the way things go. Um, 
So we have these full tanks, almost three of them, of light oil. And our petroleum gas is basically empty. Uh, let's cut down these trees here. And we'll see how we can deal with that. And we can put this sideways, which is a good thing. And we're going to tell this to convert light oil to petroleum gas. Alright, and that actually kind of worked out. It needs water. Uh, but we do have some water nearby, and it needs... Well, we don't need these charts anymore. should still let us walk through. So it needs water and obviously it needs uh, light oil. But we need water now. And hope this well um, we can move this all over by one okay once we now get all the corners in and up here this is now running and helping to produce petroleum gas it's not quick you can see every so often this will move slowly uh, but that will that will help out for now. Um, if I actually move this, I can probably put in a second. Oh, that was powering. There we go. So we can put in a second here. And that should help even more. And you're running now as well. So that will begin to drain our light oil. We still have a lot of heavy oil so I said I was only gonna make two but uh, I <laughs> wasn't really producing as much petroleum gas as I had hoped so now that we're draining our light oil it also makes sense to have our heavy oil get converted to light oil and uh, put you here which okay that works out so we'll take the heavy oil from this tank run it through here and then we just need well some more water And I believe, yeah, we have plenty of water. It's not really dropping too much. I haven't seen it drop below 9, 
So that means the pump is able to keep up. So while these two are draining our light oil, uh, this is starting to drain the heavy oil and refill the light. Now eventually at some point we'll may have to shut this off because I believe uh, heavy oil is used uh, to produce lubricant, which we'll need later. Um, but that's good for now. We finished the research before and uh, I'm actually going to research this substation. Uh, that's a strange kind of electric pole. It, it's basically, uh, I think it's as big as assembler, but it gives a large coverage area. So that actually uh, is very useful for making fields of uh, uh, solar panels and the like. Alright, so, uh, speaking of fields of solar panels. I'm going to, well, I'm going to take half a stack. Uh, let's get these pipes. Actually, I need that out of the way. And I'm just going to make a small solar panel field, uh, which will help with energy production during the day. Uh, these accumulators are not enough to last overnight. Uh, in fact, they're draining right now. Um, and now they're not. Oh, because we're out of power totally. Um, where is a... We don't really have a huge open area yet, but this looks pretty good up here. Yeah, we can't really get too many of these... <laughs> solar panels around uh, one of these uh, power poles. And the sun is beginning to go down, so even if I do get this set up, it won't really help too much right now. Oh, we'll leave one in our uh, uh, tool belt, whatever that is. All right, and they're hooked up now. But, uh, yeah, you can see they're not producing anything much because the sun is going down and then it will stay like that for three or four minutes and then the sun will come back up. Alright, um, our next thing is uh, the construction robots which we were talking about last time. We're doing Oh, we're doing really good on our copper and our iron. Um, we're not doing good on sulfuric acid. It's, uh, this is still basically showing... We're basically still using more <laughs> uh, petroleum gas than, uh, than we are producing. These engine units are one thing you can't make by hand. I 
I'm gonna... Well, I'll, I'll make him over here. We're gonna need some... A few different things, though. Let's, uh, move these down a few. See now, yeah, these apparently need the lubricant. Ouch. Right, electric engines. These are going to be engines. They need steel, um, gears, and pipes. And then we'll take those off. Um, we'll actually have this. That should get them on the other side. Great, that's done. Um, be helpful now. Better armor will help eventually, if not sooner. There, let me collect it. It's from clearing the trees out earlier. All right. So you're gonna need an arm as well. And everybody here needs power. And we are making engines, that's great. And those power outages are because someone is shooting. Alright, you're going to make engine units. Problem is, you need circuits.
We're going to use these circuits here. We're going to make them a little faster by uh, giving them a bit more um, well, more iron. Not really not going to reach. I'm going to put a smart inserter here. And we're going to just set you to take circuits. Um, hmm. More power problems. Okay, we're going to need lubricant, so we might as well start producing it. Um, that probably means we more uh, need more iron plates, and you know we're probably actually going to need a new refinery. We need steel. That's what we're missing. No, we don't need uh, a whole bunch of coal. Um, you're not using a bunch of steel at the moment. And the lights are going wild. Yeah, we have a full tank of crude oil here, and well, these are still pumping. These are actually drying up. Health. It is not full. That is our... That's our problem. I was looking at the health, and not the... Uh... Alright, there was another... Um, spot of oil here. Yes. Let us make another pump jack. Alright, that pump jack is being crafted at the moment. And I've cleared out some space here. Um, in case we need to put in a second oil refinery. Um, where did that pump jack go? There it is. Our, oh, we used up all our pipes. <laughs> Luckily, we have enough iron to last for quite a while. There we go. That should basically double our output for the time being. But yeah, we need more pump jacks. Um, or at least pump jacks on better 
ground. And we need circuits and steel to make them. Here's a bunch of circuits. And this should be a bunch of steel. Did I accidentally hit R and sometimes you'll accidentally rotate things? So we had a few other oil spots around here. Not really in good spots. Um, let's just go for all of those. Gears and pipes. Should have grabbed them as well. Um, while we're here, let me organize my inventory a bit. Now, of course, that's not going to work. <laughs> um, we have some smart chests. I'll put one down. Uh, don't need... Um, otherwise, I think we're good. I don't really need plastic, but let's get rid of some more wood. All right. We got one of these. Can... You can fit there. Um, that actually is a good... Yeah, except you're not connected to anything yet. What I'm thinking will happen is we'll redirect that over. Something like that, but now everything's going to back up, so let's quickly uh, get that rerouted. And we'll do something similar over here. Let's uh, let this all get sucked up and in. Come on. You can do it. There we go. And we'll have that there. Power. We'll put you there. And we'll do this other refinery another time. Next time, maybe. Whatever. <laughs> Um, we'll have you there, and you there. That will come out here. We'll go in there. Well, bring this along here.
Okay, that's piped in. We just need some more actual pipe for the corners. And I think that's all good now. We have five more of these pumps running. And you should be filling up. Yes, you are. So now we can run at full capacity. And we have petroleum gas building up. Which means we should now be making sulfur. Let us check on that. And uh, end the episode just after I check on... Alright, the wall's a little more damaged. But we have the accumulators charged up. I th um, where's... there's the... We're not producing much with the solar panels, yet. Uh, but hopefully soon we'll have fields of them. Oh, ten hours. I didn't want ten hours, I want ten minutes. Ten hours! You can see how long I've been playing, how much we've peaked out our uh, production of electricity a few times. Um, but we're starting to get some solar power. Let's just check on the sulfuric acid levels, and uh, we'll call that an episode. We'll continue um, next time uh, producing a lubricant. Yeah, we have some sulfuric acid. And while this doesn't show any petroleum gas here, we do have two of these running. So yeah, maybe... Um, uh, these actually do show petroleum gas. Well, this one and this one fills up. Why is this one all backed up? I'm not sure, but... It was probably backed up earlier, but just with the arm it couldn't unload things fast enough. But we do have several of the battery. All of them actually look like they're running. So we should be producing a decent amount of batteries. So we can get some accumulators built. We have some. That's great. Uh, like I said, next time uh, we'll focus on lubrication, lubricant, and getting these electric engines going. And you know, maybe if we're lucky, we'll get the flying robot frames, which also need batteries. Lots of things need batteries. But uh, you know, that's electronics today. It's. Uh, don't have lights being produced. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.